Hello, welcome to this video in which today we are going to be using Regex and Ansible to find some old NTP server configurations on my routers and then clear them down and then reconfigure a new NTP server. Um, this is to get over one of the smaller issues with Ansible in that it's great at pushing out config um, but not brilliant at defining a state. So if you want to just have a certain NTP server configured um, and you've already got 10 other servers configured, you need a way to clear those down, find out what they are. So this small playbook that I've got will find all the NTP servers and clear them off and let you put in a new one. So let's get to the playbook and see how this works. So what I've got here is this playbook that's gonna hit my host's CSR routers. And that uh, group consists of three CSR routers. And then I'm gonna run the IOS command show run. So that's just gonna run a show run on each device. And it's gonna register that value as config. And then I'm going to use this regex here to so I'm going to set a fact then so we're going to set a fact and the fact I'm going to set is called underscore servers and it's going to look in the config that I previously did a show run for so the entire configuration file and then I'm going to do a regex find all and what I'm looking for is anything that starts NTP server with any numbers of white space and characters after that and multi-line equals true so we can have multiple lines of this so hopefully what i'm going to find is any instance of ntp server anything that's in my router configuration file then once i've set that fact we're going to run the ios config module with this line no ntp server and i've got item in here and then it's going to go with items uh, underscore servers so basically it's going to do a no NTP server on every single server it finds and then I'm going to configure a new NTP server which is going to be 4567 and apply that to all the devices so irrespective of how many different um, NTP servers I've got configured this is going to clear them all off and then just configure a clean one so let's go to the command line here so the playbook I've got is called ntp.yaml so we're going to run that I'm not sure what you think of the music I'm just got something to keep me motivated today This is going to run the device, so it's show run on device CSR 1, 2 and 3. It's going to get the current configured NTP servers. So it's got the configuration, got the configured NTP servers. It's going to remove all the old NTP servers now. So you're going to see this is going through each router. And for each device here, it's going to get rid of every single instance of NTP server that I've got. And then now it's going to configure a new NTP server on each one. Bang. So what I should have now, uh, these are my devices. Show run include NTP. I've got one server on CSR1. Show run include NTP. Same one on there. And the same one on here. Now just to show that that did actually do the case. Let's just put some back again. So that's a few on CSR1. And let's put one more on CSR3. So I've got 3345 on here, I've got a few more extra ones on here, and a few on CSR1. 
there. So that's it's just one of the things that I haven't found an easy way to do with on Ansible is to actually define a, a certain state and, and get rid of old config. So let's just move that one out of the way a moment. We'll run this playbook again. So in simple terms, it's just doing a show run, taking the config, saving the config, using regex, looking for any instance within that config that starts NTP server with anything after it. It's taking those values and then it's doing a no NTP server with all those values that we've set into a fact. And then once it's cleared the devices, it's going to re config a new server which is 4567 so you can see now we are ripping off all these again and we've configured a new one so let's bring the router back on again so these are the ones that I had on there and now we're just down to one. Now we'll just add one more and show you this with a debug. So I've now put on 5678 as another server. We'll run this once more, but we'll limit it this time to just a single router CSR1. Now you do that with the dash dash limit command. And I'm going to do VVV. So we've got a full debug of what's going on here. So you can see in the back end, and I didn't specify the router, so dash dash limit CSR1. So using the dash dash limit um, switch on the playbook run here, we'll just make this playbook run on CSR1 only. So this is a great way if you want to test a playbook out on a single device before you let it loose on all your network devices, you can run it on one single device. And the minus VVV is the full debugging, so we can see everything that's going on. Now you can see, let's get, let this go by, and then I'll roll it back so we can see what happens. Okay. So the green, first of all, it did a show run on the device. So we did the show run. And this is the config that it spat out. Then this is the bit that we're interested in. Get the configured NTP servers. So I set a fact called underscore servers. And within there, I've now got 5678 and 4567. So it just picked out just the information I wanted. Then we remove the old config, so we do no NTP server, and then with each item, so this time here the item equals 5678, and then it does it again, item 4567, no NTP server 4567, and then the final task was to configure the new NTP server, and this is our clean one, so it's just NTP server 4567, and we're done. So that's it. Very simply use regex to pick out bits of config and then use them to clear out redundant config that you've got on your devices so you can put your new clean config in. So I hope you enjoyed that quick video and if you have a better way of doing that, if you know a better way, please drop in the comment below and if you enjoy this video, please hit the subscribe button and you'll get notified of any new videos as they come out. So happy ants bling and I'll see you soon.